a little over a year ago, around February, March of last year, a certain English nobleman VTuber popped up around the Twitter space on Twitch, on YouTube, and started quietly introducing himself to people. He discovered this uh, one particular VTuber who would become his uh, his senpai through content creators like Hiro Hei. He wasn't quite sure he wanted to do something like this. He wasn't sure he'd be any good at it either. He had been out of uh, the business from radio broadcasting and everything else for quite some time. And um, just wasn't sure if he had it in him anymore. But he was going through... A bit of a personal identity crisis of sorts, wondering what he should do with his life, wondering what his off hours should be devoted to, needing desperately a creative outlet to express himself. And so he figured he may have found it with VTubing. And he very politely and cautiously reached out to this person who had become his senpai later on. He asked them, it's like, I, you know, I think I want to do this. I think I want to give this VTubing business a shot. If I do it, will you help me? Or do you mind if I played some games with you for like an hour or two? They were delighted to help. Then the mad dash began to find something that uh, resembled either PNG or model of some kind. He managed to slap together a few um, choice elements from uh, a little app called Reality, and that's how the Year Zero version of the PNG Tuba avatar was born. What followed was a, I believe a Thursday night, where a fairly new VTuber named Lord Rexworth played an hour or two of Fortnite with Inatsu Shiroi and Razorwin VT. It was playing it off of a dusty laptop that sort of seen better days and really wasn't all that old, but um, was struggling and straining to do the job, but somehow managed to make it all work. The following Sunday, after much trial and error, and still with lots of scuff, made a very quiet debut on a Sunday afternoon. And by quiet, I mean dead silent. He premiered to zero people in chat. It was just one single, solitary, lone voice. But in those silent times, more of the identity was forged, to where now we have what you see today. We went from a year zero VTuber, based off of a reality model, to mirroring and capturing a phone screen across a Wi-Fi network to give that reality model some motion and to be used outside of the reality app. Then eventually, Another of his senpais, Razorwind, came up with a 3D model that could be used in VC face. Trouble was, this relatively new VTuber was still on that scuffy old laptop. He desperately wanted to use the new model, but it couldn't, because it drained too much resources from his CPU, and he just didn't have enough RAM either. So, he made the bold decision to splurge and invest in a brand new streamer setup. A new PC, a small mixing board, meant specifically for streamers, with a capture card if he wanted to use that later on. A new microphone, similar to what he used back in his radio days, and actually got himself two monitors. <laughs> From that, finally got it right, and was able to stream using his model that one of his senpais had so lovingly built for him. Then later on, it was suggested to him that he reach out to a chap named Nullis Art. He threw everything in the kitchen sink at Nullis and said, here, Take this and make me a really good live 2D model. And that's exactly what Nullisart did. What he got back was just absolutely on point, And it's what you're looking at today. That bold new look. The investments in new things like stream themes that uh, were more on brand and more fitting. Taking the wise counsel and advice for people who have an eye for those things. Brings us up to the present day. Slowly but surely, follow count was growing. He made affiliate on Twitch, even in the midst of absolutely horrible things happening in his life. The loss of a job, a spouse walking out, and even the loss of a home. And yet, in spite of it all, he pressed on. Because this whole VTubing business was one of the few things that truly brought him joy in life. What brought him even greater joy was knowing that somehow he was being a 
comfort and an encouragement to others. Even seen some people who started out rather timid and shy come out of their shell and even make their own debuts as streamers and VTubers. A community began to spring up all around this particular VTuber. And soon these dusty, quiet castle walls, where they began to start having life and light and activity. And before he knew it, some 500 nobles had gathered around him in support. Nobles, some of you have been with me for quite some time. Others have only recently joined the fray. However long you've been around, I have to say I would not have made it this far without all of you. Knowing that you're all here, knowing that what I've done has made some sort of an impact, however small or great, and especially knowing that I've had a positive influence on a lot of people, it has kept me going and has brought me the greatest joy in the midst of fairly dark times. But, as scripture says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy does come in the morning. I am blessed and honored to call all of you, not just my followers, not just my nobles, but dear friends. And so, I think it important that we begin by me raising my glass to all of you in tribute and in thanks. Thank you all. Cheers to you.